The Xerox Iridesc Production Press combines the value of highly automated, agile digital production with exceptional image quality and jaw-dropping embellishment effects, making it easier to unleash the potential of print and achieve remarkably brilliant results. Now, with the option of HDEA White Dry Ink, Iridesc unlocks new, creative design expressions on a wider range of media. HDEA White Dry Ink can be placed in either of the press's specialty stations. As an underlay, white helps CMYK images, graphics and text pop on darker substrates, synthetics and clings. As an overlay, it produces stunning spot specialty effects. It can also be loaded in both stations to apply two hits of white in a single pass with spot-on registration. Let's take a look at how jobs are designed and produced with white. We'll start with a six-color baby announcement. White performs an important functional job as an underlay on this gorgeous purple stock, while also creating captivating design detail. When it comes to designing for CMYK Plus jobs like this, it's all about thinking in layers. Layers are created for each grouping of colors and are arranged to mimic the order in which the specialty dry inks are applied at the press. In this example, white is on the bottom, creating a base layer for the CMYK imagery. CMYK is in the middle and gold is on the top as a spot overlay. Now it's time for the design. First, we create the layout with CMYK elements, which includes a photo box, some text, and graphics. A white underlay will be important to help this design pop. Start by creating a white swatch. To help white elements stand out in the layout file, we recommend specifying the swatch as magenta. Make it a spot color and name it white. The press will then know to print any specified elements using HDEA White Dry Ink. Next, select the CMYK design elements. Copy and paste in place on the white layer so everything registers. Apply a 100% white fill to each element. Now, go back to your CMYK layer and select all elements that sit over white. Make sure you select Multiply. As a finishing touch, we'll apply gold to some of our design elements. Select the shapes on the CMYK layer, copy and paste in place on the gold layer. Finally, fill each with the gold swatch, which is created exactly as the white swatch was. It's a good practice to double check your layer content before handing off the file. Simply turn off all the layers, then activate them one at a time to make sure they contain the right elements. When the file is ready to be exported as a PDF, there are several settings that need to be checked. Under General Settings, it's important to make sure we're exporting both visible and printable layers. On the Compression tab, ensure all image types are set to Do Not Downsample. And under Output, there should be no color conversion and the profile inclusion policy should be set to include all RGB and tagged sources. Lastly, under Advanced, make sure to note subset fonts when the percent of characters used is less than 100%. Once the PDF has exported properly, it's time to go to press. At the press's control center, our purple stock has been defined. A manual image transfer adjustment should be completed to optimize print quality for this colored media. The job can now be printed from the Xerox EXP6 print server, powered by Fiery. We'll select our job and import it into a queue. Pre-flight it to double check spot color names. If the job had not been set up with the appropriate specialty dry ink names, they could be added in the device center under specialty colors. Indicate that gold is the overlay and white is the underlay. The correct dry inks are already in the press, so we can release and run the job. As always, we'll examine the output. Now, 
Let's look at how white can be used as a double hit. Two hits of white can be applied in a single pass to enhance opacity and visual brilliance without sacrificing productivity. Settings for double hit jobs are defined at the EXP6 print server once white dry ink has been loaded into both the underlay and overlay stations at the press. At the print server, enable overlay and underlay, then select double print specialty color and white dry ink. With those settings completed, we can release and run the job. You can see the difference that the second hit of white makes, and just look at the color to color registration. Keep in mind that whether running one or two hits, jobs that print on transparent media will benefit from using the optional Film Fuser Web to optimize quality. Be sure to review the Iridesc design and file prep guide for more ideas, tips, and detailed instructions on how to unleash more high-value wow per page for all your digital jobs. Now that's brilliant. Visit Xerox.com to learn more.